Welcome to the channel and part two of our horseshoe planter build. So as I said this is part two of the horseshoe planter build. I will put a link in the description below this video to part one. So in this uh, second part, the final part, I'm going to be showing the uh, finished article and we're also going to plant some flowers in there. So this is our finished planter. I've decided to purchase a couple of these um, wooden horseshoes off eBay rather than make my own for the front because it didn't look right. So you've got to be careful if you're going to do this project and you're buying um, cut horseshoe shapes like this. What you don't want is MDF. These are actually birch, they're only thin, but they'll do the job. Uh, if you buy MDF ones, they're not going to last. Even if you uh, coat them in several coats of paint, MDF won't last outside. So this looks pretty good. I've stained it with some of the stain left over from the log cabin. It's got a nice deep compartment for the compost. This is going to hang on the wall. So I'll put a link to where I purchased uh, these from off eBay below the video. Right, so next step is some very tired trailing geraniums which I bought this morning from the I think from Lidl. I've got some compost and I'm going to line the planter with some weed control fabric and then just place some holes in the bottom of that for drainage even though water will eventually get through this uh, weed control fabric. Well this is the finished article. So I've got some trailing geraniums in there and the only thing I could find really to date um, stain to match the log cabin and then further stain different contrast on this uh, birch horseshoe to match the frame of the log cabin. That's it, you, still see a, you can see a little bit of this liner I'll just cover that up. Apart from that, that's it. And then just two screws underneath the cross brace. 